Linda Pennington knows the city's canyons better than most. As a community organizer with San Diego Canyonlands, she's been part of the fight to preserve the natural habitat for nearly 40 years. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Early Thursday morning, she ventured through Hollywood Canyon and City Heights looking for homeless camps. This is all homeless, um, left behind by homeless. Pennington was joined by a small group of volunteers. We, we often clean this up ourselves too. In all, about 40 people searched City Heights Canyon. Nothing, nothing up here. They also checked alleyways and parks to find people living outside. It's important to get up and do something. If nothing else, count them or identify them as someone in need of resources. Within minutes, they spotted a man sleeping outside in Hollywood Park. Good morning. Can we interview you? We have, we have some $10 gift certificates if we can speak to you. No. Okay. All right. The goal is to get a head count. Can you tell me how many people? One or two? Are you alone? Volunteers also ask survey questions, including whether the person being counted has ever been in foster care. The findings were then inputted into an app. I would say 25 to, yeah, 25 to 34. We're just guessing at this point. Earl Shannon was one of a handful of people willing to share his story with Pennington's group. I feel like we need more opportunities, like, you know, because a lot of us, I mean, we have, we made mistakes in the past and we want to change. Advocates say the point in time count will ultimately help people like Shannon by determining how HUD dollars are allocated to address homelessness. Pennington says getting people sheltered and out of San Diego's canyons is good for them and the environment. So it's very important for the safety of San Diego because of the fires, number one because of the needles, unfortunately, uh, because of the feces that goes into the open toilets and out to the storm drain, to the ocean, uh, and the horrific trash. Ebony Monet, KPBS News.